Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell from the title, I'm doing another makeup tutorial. This one's inspired by Pamela Anderson. Let's just get straight into it. As you can tell, I'm starting with my base and the number one tip I can give you with this makeup look is to prep and hydrate. Because it's a very mattifying look, we don't want the makeup to look very crusty and we don't want to pack on a lot of product either because that's just going to make our face feel just like we have a load of makeup on. And that's not what we're really going for here in this specific look in my, you know, creation opinion. So as you can tell, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter Foundation. I'm sorry if I got that wrong. I'm using a glowy foundation and a foundation serum by L'Oreal, the True Match Serum. I, I forget the name of all of these things. Everything will be linked in the description box down below. But I'm going in with a glowy base because I want a very light coverage. I don't want too much foundation. And because it's a very mattifying look, I don't want it to dry out my face and look cakey. So that's my best solution, my best tip for that. And, you know, doing the typical concealing absolutely everywhere. I'm using my brush for this to try to keep on as much coverage as I can, but without layering too much makeup. This is like the key thing here for me. And that's what I found that worked best for this kind of makeup look. It's so, so comfortable. I can't even begin to tell, but I do have to tell you, just do thin layers and that's the key for the longe longevity I'm sorry of your makeup so as you can tell I'm using cream products first I'm adding a little bit of glow because like I said I don't want to add a ton of shimmer and powders and add a lot of it I just want to add a little bit and make sure it goes a long long way so as you can see here, this is when I'm starting to pack on the powder absolutely everywhere this is where I'm trying to focus here I'm trying to get the bulk of the powder onto the back of my hand. That's why I didn't like let you guys see there because I just think it's useless. I, I rather just tell you. And I kind of just, you know, make sure that I put that very and very lightly and press it into my skin and then go in with my powder products by tapping it in and then buffing it in. And the last little tip for you to make your makeup look absolutely flawless is to press it in with a sponge afterwards and then everything will be sealed and just glowy and the excess powders and everything will be picked up by the sponge. It looks amazing. So that's my base tip right there. And then as you can tell, I'm just contouring my nose, but I am dragging that color onto my little crease, um, my little eye crease. So it kind of blends everything together and ties everything together just nicely. So this look is going to be concentrated with black eyeliner. It's honestly just not that difficult. You just got to do a lot of back and forth blending and really try to control the product. As you can tell, I'm just using a normal coal and then dragging it out. And I am baking under my eyes so then I can clean it up a little bit better. But like I said, it's a very mattifying look, but I don't want it to dry my skin out so as you can tell I'm using this Beauty Bay palette like I said everything's going to be linked in the description box down below but I'm going back and forth between these few shades you don't even need that much because this is a cool toned like smudgy liner look it's not too complicated we don't have too much going on but it does require kind of a little bit of patience with, with the blending I'm gonna say and as you can tell there I had a little bit of an oopsie and I had to tap off the excess because these shadows are pigmented they're affordable and pigmented and I highly recommend these palettes I love them to death but as you can see I'm going in with a slightly warmer brown right there to kind of counteract and balance everything together there I'm just pressing a little bit of black eyeshadow just to make everything just you know black set but not too intense that it's just gonna drag everything down now to kind of marry everything together like I said before you want to kind of use your contour shade or something that you used on your face to tie in the colors and make it seem a little bit more natural so the eye look is just more complete it, it gets married it's not just a a chunk of gray and black eyeshadows and as you can tell there I'm just like buffing all of the powder away any of the fallout that you might have it's great to buff out with a little bit of powder on your brush first so that's another tip I can give you and as for brows I have quite thick brows I do have hairy brows and that time the brows were thin and I'm not gonna pluck them out so I just put gel on them honestly you can just get away with any of these things by just using the least amount of product possible now for lashes, I didn't actually put any fake lashes on, but I did pack on the mascara because I did want my eyes to look a little bit more opened up. Your eyes are going to get a little bit closed if you use black liner, but I absolutely love it. Do it. It looks amazing on absolutely everyone. It's just, this is a stunning look for everyone. Every, every single eye color, every single skin tone. It's just, you can go with it. I absolutely love the way this turned out. And as for the lip, I'm using a very rich brown lip combo. Now for the Pamela Anderson look, I think it's all eyes and 
and lips and I really wanted to go in with a brown shade that would still not look too harsh and then I'm using Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lip pencil to kind of add a little bit of pinkiness and gradually blend that brown towards the center and right there as you can see I'm using a little bit of a lighter pinker shade well a lot lighter if I'm being honest and I'm just dabbing it with my finger blending it and making the ombre a little nicer you can use a pinky concealer you don't have to use a super light lipstick or anything like that you can even use your foundation concealer but that's literally the whole makeup look you guys it's not that difficult just remember to set everything with setting spray and make everything look nice and if you want as I did right here you can add a little bit of a lighter gloss to marry everything together now again thank you so much for watching right now you can see my cat right there isn't he so cute um but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video please don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment down below bye Thank <laughs> you.